Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert. I was just listening to a John Mayer album, the one he brought out last year, and there's a track on there called Paper Doll, and there's a fantastic guitar part that's riffing all the way through it. And I, I just had to listen to that, and I wanted to, I thought I'd, I'd have a play around at, at doing that. So what I've done is I've put down one guitar already, and I'm going to show you using Revoice Pro 2.5, the newest version. In fact, I think they're up to 2.6, actually. So uh, don't worry about the, the last few digits, but re put Revoice Pro 2. Uh, and show you often we use it on vocals, we use it on ADR, but I want to show you on, on a guitar. So I've got this guitar part. If you've heard the album, you'll, you'll know the thing I'm talking about. So I've just put down a rough bass uh, and, and a beat, and then I've put the guitar down. I'll play it you first without me doing it, and then show you how quickly I can do it in Pro Tools just by using their plugins, uh, because now there's audio suites uh, that you can use in Pro Tools. So here's the, here's the riff first. Put that down with my Telecaster. And that just riffs around. But if you if you listen to the track, it's actually two guitars. There's two guitars playing, one on the left and one on the right. So what you can do though is you could do instead is you can grab this, and you need to make sure that you have Revoice Pro open. So if I go now to, to Revoice Pro and I've opened a window here. Now the cool thing is as well, there's a little plugin I use called a Float. And you don't need to see it anyway, because I'm going to use the plugins. But uh, if you use this afloat, it means that this will stay on the window, even if I'm in Pro Tools, acting like a plugin. Anyway, so I mark up that guitar, and I go to Audio Suite, Synchro Arts, Revoice Pro Doubler. And I simply capture it. Then I choose where I want it to go to, which is guitar, and spot it. And now I've got two guitars. So I've got this guitar. And this one together simple as that and actually the synchro arts revoice pro window that did that it's opened a new window and did it all in the background lose that one here it is showing there so there's the part, and it's just thrown it into here, back out of here, and back into Pro Tools. So let me show you that with that afloat. I'm going to keep that afloat, that window, this time. So we'll stop this again, and we'll delete that out. Now what you can do as well is, if, what we could do is we could come into this for a second. If I press the P button, I get it my preset, and I've got this set to how I want it. I've got a slight delay on there, a little bit of mod, uh, some some no shift in the formats. I want to keep the formats the same, and a little bit of vibrato as well. And then what I do as well is I save that as my preset, or I could save it as the default preset. But there's some factory presets as well we could use. But to use it in audio suite mode, uh, I want to create the preset and keep it in there. Then it's as simple as I say. If we close that window again, grabbing this audio, capture, spot, job done. <laughs> double guitar so there we are so you could of course play it in twice but if you wanted to do the double guitar then you can use revoice pro if you're a revoice pro user then check out that trick if you're not then go and download the demo and who knows you might use it all the time it's fantastic on vocals thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon